In this video, I'll be showing you how I used the market structure to be two steps ahead of the market and made a great trade on USD CAD. Of course, we're going to be looking at the majors as well. And if you want to see the full version, you are welcome to do so over my side. The link is in the description below. So while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. USDCAD broke everything, uh, weak oil, strong dollar, uh, you already mentioned this combination uh, in the room guys, so uh, what we have on the daily time frame right now is also a bit tricky still. Um, one good thing for the bulls, we have a major higher low here, uh, but we had a major lower low as well before that. We still do not have a break and close above this high here. If this high was, uh, this swing had a, a close, daily close above this high, things would be much easier than one could say that we now broke the high, we look for the retest and a continuation. We're still not there, but we have a clear, strong signal here with this bullish engulfing uh, yesterday. And um, as for now, on the four hour, we are heading back to test this uh, major level uh, up here yeah uh, this is an area of um, nice support and resistance we do have the months uh, the weekly r1 as well in this level and um, yeah one could uh, start looking for this possible um, area to act as a whoops possible uh, resistance okay um, but usually these, when we start getting these, uh, usually uh, we have a breakout, but I don't, I have a very hard time after such a very strong extended move to have the breakout. So first we may get uh, a test of this level, maybe make a fake out, then a correction lower before the next move to the upside. This is usually what happened. Uh, so keep an eye on such a scenario that we may get some resistance here bef uh, and, uh, and a push lower before any continuation. Uh, so uh, that was the trade guys. Um, the market uh, did reach the level where we expected it to uh, start correcting down. We've got that correction, entered the trade uh, with a very good risk to reward. Stop loss was uh, below this area. And uh, when we got the CPI news for the CAD, we got this very nice uh, bullish candle here on the 15 minute. Now, uh, this will not be looking this way every time you uh, enter a trade uh, that the market uh, pushes like uh, 70, 80 pips in one candle. But uh, you got the idea and I uh, hope you uh, found something useful in this uh, trade idea and how we took it. So uh, yeah, let's get started with the rest of the um, currencies for the upcoming week. So these are the main news event to look at for next week. Nothing on Monday, Tuesday, uh, Governor Carney speech again. And a lot of CAD news once again on Wednesday. Very important day for the CAD. Overnight rate, press conference and the BOC rate statement. Uh, monetary policy. Um, on Thursday we have uh, also um, news from the Euro, main refinancing rate and ECB press conference. This is going to be the most important thing. Um, core durable goods order for the US, advanced GDP um, on Friday as well for the US and uh, Mr. Draghi speak as well on Friday. Yeah, we start with the Dixie as usual and uh, let's go to the weekly time frame once again to see once again that we are still going sideways. Uh, the Dixie tried to break and close above the 200 uh, weekly moving average and failed since we pushed down on Friday. So if we go down to the daily time frame, we see that we had a nice start of the week um, with this uh, morning star formation and the dollar start pushing nicely to the upside, especially after the FOMC release. 
and uh, we uh, started um, the Friday by breaking above uh, monthly R1 and then uh, start rejecting, uh, rejecting back to the downside as you see here. So what we have so far is still uh, this range still intact. We should be keeping an eye on this range for now. Uh, this is the main uh, range that we're trading in for the dollar. Um, still the same idea as before. Uh, for more upside for the dollar, we need to see a break above 90, uh, 96.16, 96.15 area. Uh, if that happened, that means we are going to test the 97 area up here uh, at these highs. Yeah. As for now, on the four hour, we're still uh, bullish anyway, because uh, we still have this low is not broken yet. And uh, this could be only um, a correction after some profit taking on a Friday. So this was like a typical uh, Friday reversal where uh, we, traders start to take some profit and more, maybe more beers joins the, joins the ride to the downside. So um, still um, possible for bullish, but we could also end up going uh, sideways inside this range I showed you earlier. Uh, and uh, we have two main level to watch. It is up here. We need to see this broken and the support is back down here at the 95. These are the levels for the dollar. Gold weekly time frame. Um, we continued uh, push higher uh, on the weekly. We tested the 200 moving average, uh, testing also almost uh, previous structure um, lows here. But there was no close above previous high. It was uh, pretty close to do so. Uh, so that is uh, the weekly, uh, still a bit bullish. But if we look at the daily, uh, we see that it was a sideways week, yeah, making a possible um, flag here, but um, the main direction is sideways the whole last week. And uh, what we are watching uh, for now on shorter, um, lower time frame is uh, still this uh, range. Um, so um, this box uh, gonna be our main guide for gold right now we are in the mid of the range so we should be looking for 1216 as a possible support and uh, up here uh, 1233 area as a possible resistance yeah if we break to the upside that will open the door toward the 1242 area where we had uh, this uh, previous uh, support and resistance level and of course if we break out of the box to the downside, that will uh, open the door to start uh, thinking of a retest of monthly R1 and uh, previous broken structure uh, down here, at least, yeah? Because um, as you see here, there's nothing if we break and start trading below this, there's nothing until we reach the uh, 1196, once again, this, uh, also important support and resistance level so as for now uh, draw this uh, range on your chart and uh, watch that um, play the edge of that range until you have a breakout oil uh, we are testing this major uh, trend line i think uh, we have that on the weekly even better as you see um, after making this uh, double top bearish strong bearish divergence on the rsi we are now testing this major trend line here that we are watching where we also have at this cross we had the monthly s1 pivot point previous structures on the daily on the four hour you're gonna see this much more clearer so here we are right now tested this almost broke and it's still looking uh, bearish but um, there is no confirmation that we are breaking below this trend line. If that happened next week, that will open the door for um, much lower. The 200 moving average may give us some trouble here at these lows here. And uh, the next um, real support is down here around the um, 66 area. Below that, the next structure would be 62.50 and below that we start talking about 
uh, the 58, 80, 59 down here, yeah. But um, there is also a very, very uh, possible scenario that we start seeing bulls defending this channel. So, first of all, see this as a possible uh, level to be defended and uh, that we may um, push higher, yeah. And if that happens and you start seeing some kind of um, higher low here the next target should be a retest of these uh, broken levels above that we start thinking of retesting these highs up here so it is a major channel and you should uh, firstly look for a possible uh, defense from the bulls at uh, this structure but if you've got a clear breakout below these levels on the four hour that means we are going to test these uh, lows down here around the 66 yeah so uh, there is some if then here euro usd um let's go to the weekly here as well so once again sideways still we've got uh, another uh, indecision week here um trading at the yearly pivot point and the monthly s1 at the same level here was tested la last week on the daily <clears throat> you see that we still have uh, this previous low didn't uh, we never had a break below or a close below that we tested this low and then friday it was a very strong push to the upside with a uh, bullish engulfing candle here at this level so on the four hour time frame uh, let me take this off this was the old this was this move and we've got that already and we've been talking in the room about um, this um, possible support level here and um, yeah it acted uh, as a nice support was defended and the market pushed higher so this could be also um, a retest of um, a broken structure here this neckline it is still a resistance level and could give you another push lower um, this is uh, very possible but if you see that the price breaks above uh, this major candle here and uh, holds this level then there is a possibility that we test uh, we do a retest and move again to the top of the box um, keep an eye on this 200 moving average on the four hour that also may act as dynamic resistance okay so um, if we look at this market on um, the daily time frame uh, we see that right now uh, this month we are a bit of sideways there is no continuation no break below but we still have like um, a major lower high here um, if we had last week a break and close below this i would say start uh, keep uh, selling toward uh, these lows and um, since we do not have this break below yet uh, we should expect at least a sideways here and as i said if we break back above this area then there is a possibility that we start moving toward the monthly pivot point level okay uh, sterling usd we've got another uh, lower high here and another lower low and uh, we reached uh, the trend line the bullish trend line once again but this time uh, we do not have a market that made a higher high to say that we are we could be pretty sure for more upside that uh, make it a little bit uh, different and a little bit difficult since this high is lower than this high that will give us a lower high and uh, that one start thinking for a possible break below this time retest and continuation this is uh, very possible uh, since we broke this neckline right now but as for now we should be seeing this as a possible as a good support level uh, what we could have also is uh, that we broke the structure we reach it support a retest here and probably another push to the downside so keep an eye on where the market is testing right now uh, this structure here 
in case of a double tap on the lower time frame um, one hour or 15 minutes with bearish divergence at these levels here um, you've got something like this bearish divergence and um, that the markets start moving lower um, there is a possibility that if we break below here that we continue even more to the downside on this a possible um, reversal ongoing here if that happened okay um, USD Jappy we talked about this uh, 111 and 80 last um, last week in the uh, weekly overview and that uh, we should see this as a possible support and it really was the market tested that area and start moving higher and it is still the same support level that we should be looking at as support this week as well so 111.80 still support and right now we have this possible inverted head and shoulder on the four hour and that the market is pushing a bit higher and that was um, watching if we're gonna get a break of this neckline here a break above this that will open the door to uh, more upside maybe around 113.50 is a possible uh, trouble area at this uh, previous neckline ahead of that we of course have also the 113.25 area that could give you some trouble on the way up so watching for this to uh, possibly break the neckline and continue to the upside is the scenario here um, Aussie USD let's go to the daily on that we still uh, sideways uh, last week uh, this area here I mentioned as a good uh, resistant it is still a good resistant level that we should keep uh, seeing as resistance as far as the market uh, does not break and close above it on the daily so on the four hour time frame it is too clear range we have we have uh, this lower uh, box and we do have now this upper box that we should be watching yeah so we've been trading the boxes in the room every morning briefing this week in my trading room was sell the high buy the low until we have a breakout and that is still uh, the same uh, for next week um, nothing has changed keep an eye on monthly s1 as a possible support and uh, up here as a possible resistance until one of uh, the side breaks out if we breaks below this that mean we're going to test the lows or if we break above this that mean we're going to test uh, these levels up here so uh, these are uh, the scenarios a lot of arrows but that is the easiest way to do it if you do not uh, want to guess what's going on now in my opinion since uh, this market on uh, the uh, major trend still inside this channel one should try to sell uh, the top of the box instead to be uh, trading in the direction with the main trend usd cad um yeah as mentioned last week still bullish we've got the break retest of the channel and uh, another push higher this uh, did actually break and broke and close above uh, last week high and above this structure high here so on the weekly time frame there is still room for more upside for the usd cat on the daily as, as well we have this uh, possible inverted uh, head and shoulder scenario here as you see uh, something like this and the neckline is now broken here so uh, since we have a close above these structures i'm looking for a possible continuation to test these levels up here on lower time frame like the four hour we've got a pretty nice um, uh, retest here as I showed you in the start of this video retest and continuation and uh, yeah we should now be looking for what will happen when this market retest this uh, broken structure once again so the question is if we gonna uh, have this possible uh, retest going on and another push higher that is what 
I'm watching for next week. This is the first level I will be looking at somewhere at this structure high or a little bit lower to test uh, these highs here as well. That could be a good level to look for possible long scenario on, on the pair. USD chief uh, daily time frame. I still see that this market's objective is to at least reach these highs here and that if we break above this, we start looking to a retest of um, so first this high, these highs, and if we have a break to retest these highs as well. Um, it is still the same uh, idea here. Uh, we've got um, this whole move. We got a shallow correction to 23.6 Fibonacci and a continuation, as I mentioned in the previous um, weekly overview. So if you're long, keep an eye on these levels up here. The, uh, this is um, we are already inside this resistance area, and for more upside, you want to see a break above these, like on the four hour or so, and then that will give you the next push to the upside if the breaks happen um yeah new zealand usd also still making this nice uh, reversal now um if we look on the daily time frame you see that the structure the major structure is still bearish but we start having a little bit better momentum to the upside and uh, more and more i'm expecting this uh, uh, continuation of new zealand uh, uh, dollar strengths and that we may have a market objective to test these highs up here um, this is possible but we need to break above monthly pivot point and hold above that structure on four hour or so to reach that uh, possible market objective if we draw a fibonacci retracement here we see that we are right now testing the 618 which is a good um, fibonacci sequence and that many trader may be watching that at that same level we have the monthly pivot point as well so it is a um, level to that we should be watching carefully we start having bearish divergence as well so there is some things that talking against our uh, thinking of a break and a continuation so first of all keep an eye on that because this could mean reversal this divergence up here uh, and the monthly pivot point previous structures here 618 Fibonacci and that we may get uh, a possible reversal on this double top but if on the four hour we break and hold above monthly pivot point and above these previous highs then there is a possibility that we start thinking of a move all the way toward monthly r1 as well so uh, yeah that was it for the youtube uh, version of this video thanks a lot guys and uh, see you next week for those of you who want to see the full version just click the link in the description below and uh, keep following over my site instead see you next week bye bye